libertad de apoyar. Lo que hay ahora es opciones. Tenemos dos opciones. No es... Well, I think we have to separate the issues of Julian Assange and the issues of, of uh, WikiLeaks, uh, the person who is in uh, the Ecuadorian embassy at the UK is Julian Assange. He has a status of being a person uh, with uh, international protection and we are continue, we have a continuous dialogue with him, with his lawyers and also with the government of the United Kingdom. So uh, it's a tripartite uh, uh, dialogue and I think all parties are interested uh, in finding an outlet, a solution to this very uh, complex uh, um, uh, situation. The front line on issues of human rights, especially on issues regarding well, because for several occasions he has agreed on not intervening in uh, uh, internal politics of third party countries and unfortunately he has, he has not complied with his commitment. Uh, so for the time being uh, he's not allowed to have access to internet. Ecuador has a, a, a first hand experience on uh, a very... Uh, uh, it's not a matter of censorship, it's a matter of rights and responsibilities of a person who is uh, he, who has the status that he has. He is an international protected person and he has, of course, right, but also responsibilities. In, uh, very strong in our positions regarding uh, migration and the... I think that this is an issue of international law. Uh, this is an issue of uh, respecting uh, the international framework, respecting our own constitution and legislation. Uh, it is uh, a complex matter and, and I think that we are uh, have uh, uh, dialogue mechanisms uh, that are in search of uh, a solution that would uh, be uh, that would accommodate all interested parties. Mm -hmm. Nations, both on the management, the development, and the peace and security areas. Uh, I think that the, uh, what is uh, positive about this complex situation. In that is that we have a very uh, a sustained and, and constructive dialogue among all parties and that we are all in the search of an outlet, of a solution to uh, a situation that is difficult for all, all parties. And uh, we are in the search of, of uh, really finding uh, an alternative that would accommodate all interested parties. Mm -hmm. Policy in the protection of refugees have the highest number of refugees in the entire Western Ecuador has had a very um, strong contribution, has had a very strong contribution to the system, to the organization, and I think that we can bring that experience and that uh, contribution to lead uh, the most important uh, regulatory body of the United Nations, the, the Parliament of Humanity, which is the General Assembly. So we are in, pos in the position of doing that and also uh, the personal credentials of the candidate. And I'm a little ashamed to say this, but I have a, a, a wide experience being foreign minister twice, minister of defense, uh, PR, uh, permanent representative in Geneva and New York, uh, having dealt with the multilateral system for about 25 years. So I think that I can also contribute in a personal uh, basis uh, to strengthening the organization and work hand in hand with all member states. Agreeing on key issues such as climate change, such as financial